Today I have a beast of a hard drive to show you, all 8 terabytes of it. Yeah, this is Seagate's new 8 terabyte archive hard drive. So basically, a few weeks ago, my drive I used to back up my NAS to, my Seagate 5 terabyte drive, started failing. This was really annoying because it was about 13 months old. It was just outside of the one year warranty. I needed a drive to replace it. Cube, the Seagate 8 terabyte archive hard drive. Physically, it's the same size as my old drive but it has eight terabytes. Eight terabytes! I just can't believe you can actually fit eight terabytes into, well, this. Okay, let's have a look at some specs. So, it's engineered for 24-7 workloads and transfers of 180 terabytes per year. So that's way more I'm gonna be using it for. It has 128 megabytes of cache, great. Uh, average data rates, read and write of 150 megabytes per second. So I've actually done some real world tests and we'll have a look at them a bit later just to see if those figures actually stand up. Uh, it has six 1.33 terabyte platters, which is awesome. Mean time between failures at 80,000 hours. And it also has a three year warranty, which is a bit better than my last drive. Um, maximum operating temperatures of 60 degrees C. Now, after using this drive for a little bit, it does seem to get pretty hot. So uh, wherever you decide to put it, you need some good airflow just to take away that heat. Let's go and have a look at some of these benchmarks. Okay, starting off with the crystal disc mark test. So, as you can see, the read speeds are significantly slower than the writes. This is uh, actually the opposite way around than you usually see on drives and the 4K random speeds are pretty low, but that's expected for a mechanical drive. Okay, so I've put together some tests more like the kind of workloads I'll be using it for. We have three tests. Uh, these are transferring five movies, 2,000 songs, and 1,000 photos to and from the drive to measure sequential read and write performance. I've also filled the drive about half full just to simulate a more realistic real world situation. As you can see, the drive has definitely been designed for archiving, with the write speeds being not too bad, but the read speeds being, well, awful. This is for situations where you don't intend to read the data too often, just like archiving. But like I said, I'll be using this to back up my NAS2. I'll probably be doing nightly backups, so therefore I'm not really worried about the slow speeds. Okay, that's it for this review. Again, I've put the Amazon link in the description below, so check it out. And if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, leave a comment below. I have lots more product reviews and video ideas coming up, so don't forget to subscribe.